Hello everybody and welcome back to the Chan Chan. In today's video, it's it's gonna get weird around here as we travel around the world and take a look at some super weird toys. There are weird toys everywhere. There's a ton of bootlegs coming out of Mexico that can give you nightmares and China is always pumping out odd and strange things that make you go, what? So today we are not focusing on bootleg toys, but real toys that you could really buy online and in toy stores. And at the end of the video, let me know what toy in this list made you go, say what? Here we go. Number 15, from Japan, the Crying Yumi doll. Meet Yumi-chan, the crying doll created by a Japanese toy maker that cries when she is injected. The bizarre doll was demonstrated at a toy exhibition in Tokyo where water tears pour from Yumi-chan's eyes when she is given a needle in her arm. In the doll world, realism is a huge selling point from wet diapers to breastfeeding. But a little girl that cries when you stick a giant needle in her arm? What? What's next, a doll that pukes when you kick it in the ribs? And why is this little girl so happy? She's like, I love making you cry. Number 14, New Zealand, Boppy the Booty Shaken Llama. It's all new Boppy, the Booty Shaken Llama from Zuru Pets Alive. Shake your booty. <laughs> Boppy the Booty Shaken Llama, eats sold separately. New from Zuru. Booty. The company that created this gem, Zuru, started in New Zealand and is now headquartered in Hong Kong. But you can get Boppy anywhere. Zuru, the award-winning toy maker, kicked off their new Pets Alive brand with Boppy, the booty shaking llama. New Rainbow Boppy, the booty shaking llama. Boppy captivates kids and adults alike with her one-of-a-kind twerking and head-spinning dance moves to three catchy songs. Honey in the club. While it was concerning for some parents that this llama was essentially teaching and encouraging their children to twerk, which is a sexually provocative dance move involving squatting and shaking your butt, you have to admit that that llama is starting to look fine. Number 13. Things That Go Bump in the Night from the UK. Things That Go Bump in the Night was a short-lived minifigure line in the late 90s in the UK. A company called FIVA released 28 little figures depicting common household items that came to life. But they didn't just come to life with a set of eyes and a cute smile, they were terrifying. The figures were divided into four groups, things in the fridge, things in the bathroom, things in the wardrobe, and things under the bed. Some of these are quite scary, like the well-cooked thing, who looks as though he was boiled alive, the hanger that looks like it's strangling something, and the thing that ate my breakfast, who looks like he wants to kill you for eating his friends. You could also get your hands on some 3D scene setters and a Things Happen Junction carrying case. Number 12, The Evil Stick. A disturbing image hidden inside a toy purchased at a local dollar store. In 2014, a mother in Dayton, Ohio purchased a princess wand for her two-year-old daughter from her local dollar store. The package featured a smiling girl, bright colors, flowers, and promised to play beautiful music. Thinking it was just another typical made-in-China plastic toy, unbeknownst to her, she didn't notice what the eloquent, playful text at the top of the package read. Evil Stick. <laughs> Imagine her surprise when the curious little girl peeled back the foil to find this image of a girl cutting herself inside. A horrifying picture of a woman slitting her wrists. <laughs> The store's owner said that the mother should have inspected the toy more closely and taken a note of the name on the top of the package before purchasing it for her daughter. He thinks it's okay for older kids. For a five, six, seven, ten years old? I mean, they see that on TV every day. Turns out the princess on the front of the packaging was a character named Sakura Kinamoto, star of the late 90s animated series Card Captor Sakura. And this was a knockoff toy trying to sell this random wand that had nothing to do with the show. Turns out some wands featured pictures of zombies, while others weren't scary at all and illuminated photos of random anime characters. The wand chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. <laughs> Number 11, 
Frozen Charlotte. Known as Frozen Charlottes in the US, these tiny porcelain dolls first made in Germany in the 1850s with no movable limbs were sold as toys for kids during bath time to float in the tub. But the little dolls soon became associated with a popular poem during that time called Young Charlotte. It was about a young girl who wanted to travel to a New Year's Eve ball in freezing weather. Her mother said to wrap herself up in blankets to stay warm, but the girl was too vain and wanted everyone to see how pretty she was in her dress. So she didn't bring any blankets for the trip. By the time she and her sweetheart got to the ball, her beau looked over at Charlotte and she was frozen dead. So the little porcelain doll became known as Frozen Charlotte in America. The dolls sometimes came with blankets and a coffin. And during Christmas time in Britain, Frozen Charlottes were sometimes baked into cakes as a surprise for kids. Surprise! It's a dead Charlotte. I mean, Frozen Charlotte. Number 10, Baby Secret from the US. Lips really move. I want to tell you something. She whispers just to you. <laughs> Introducing Baby Secret, a doll that may possibly come with a free demon inside. Baby Secret was forged in the fires of hell in, <laughs> I mean, Baby Secret was manufactured in 1965 by Mattel. It had a soft body with a red dress and bib along with a vinyl head whose mouth was open and could actually move while it whispered into your ear. Some of the phrases were a little odd as well. Why do you want to know if anyone else is awake, baby secret? Do you want to kill my family? <laughs> I also managed to find some never before heard phrases right here. Don't get me angry. Hail Satan. Number nine, the Titanic bouncy slide. Why read your kids a book about the Titanic tragedy that killed over 1,500 people when you can live it in your own backyard? Introducing the inflatable Titanic bouncy slide made in China, sold worldwide. But you won't find it in Switzerland where the National Titanic Club called it unethical. The inflatable Titanic slide is a 33 foot tall high bouncy replica of the Titanic that struck an iceberg and sank. You can now relive those terrifying moments when passengers slid down the decks screaming as they plunged to their icy deaths. But remember to make sure you ask for the model that comes with an iceberg. Like seriously, who thought this was a good idea? And what, what kind of monster rents this from a party store for the kids? I mean, sure, it looks super fun, but I mean, this is in really poor taste. Number eight, the Japan poop flinging game. Japan has a lot of weird toys, and a lot of those toys can be found in vending machines. This Japanese capsule toy comes with three items, a plastic pile of poo, a dismembered torso with a pair of legs and a butt attached to a launcher, and a toilet-shaped target to fling the poo into. Pretty self-explanatory game. Use the dismembered torso to fling the poo into the toilet. This sort of stuff is nothing to raise your eyebrows at over there, but do you think this toy could fly in your town? Number seven, Jewish Guess Who. Now this one is not really weird at all. It's mostly just interesting to see different forms of the games you grew up with and how they are translated into different cultures and languages. Like this Jewish version of Guess Who with instructions in Yiddish and English by Mitzvah Family. Instead of the standard, does your person have glasses? You can now ask questions like, is your person wearing a tefillin? Or does your person have side locks? Mazel tov! I couldn't track down exactly where this game originated from. You can buy it online, but to give this list some diversity, let's just say it came from Israel, okay? Probably came from the US, but I won't tell if you don't. I know a secret, do you? Number six, Poohin Balls from India. Here's another little weird number coming out of India, but in this case, it's just poor translation and wording. Poo and Balls is actually a push and spin toy for kids that contains little Winnie the Pooh lookalike bears and balls that spin around after you push down on the lever. Just don't look up what poo ball means in the urban dictionary. Number five, 
Yano the Storyteller. What do you get if Teddy Ruxpin, a mole, and a raisin had a baby? Well, that's Yano, of course. Come dream with me tonight. Come let me kill you. My name is Yano. I'm a magical storyteller and entertainer. Tell stories that make you smile. Stories that are scary or sad. Yeah. Yano is an interactive storytelling creature, just like Teddy Ruxpin, but with cooler features like fingernails, real looking skin, and terrifying expressions. What sets this guy apart from Ruxpin is that you actually had the ability to interact with his stories via this tablet-esque thingy here. Yano was made in 2001 by the original San Francisco toy makers. He can move his head, eyes, ears, and mouth while he tells stories. While I think Yano looks like a cute baby grandpa mole, a lot of people were actually terrified of him. Ya know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Get it? Ya know? Ya know? Okay, okay. Number four, the Koleka board game from Poland. In 2011, a Polish research institute developed a board game to teach young people about life under communism called Koleka, which means a lineup or queue in Polish. The game was inspired by Monopoly, but in this game, players wait in endless lineups, give up their spot in line, people cutting in front of them in the line, all to buy some scarce goods that are running out. The coveted colleague in the government card could really get you out of a bind. The communist era lasted from the end of World War II until 1989 in Poland, and the makers of the game wanted to educate young people by using the game as a tool to start a conversation between the generations. The aim of the game is to buy everything on your shopping list before the other players do, from food to furniture in short supply, and also incorporates a black market for goods. But not everyone saw the game as an educational tool. Russian authorities banned the popular Polish game that was perceived as anti-Russian and excessively critical of the Soviet system. Number three, Fofo from Brazil. <laughs> Now, I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's like Fonfon or something, but he's a fictional character from a Brazilian children's TV series, which again, I'm not gonna be able to pronounce right, but it's like Balao, Magico, and he's also from a TV Fonfon. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He became a hit amongst Brazilian kids in the early 1980s with his own TV show, music, dolls, and many other products. He originally appeared as a supporting character, but the character became very popular, rising to stardom as an icon in Brazilian media during the 80s due to the high sales of his plush toy counterpart. Apparently, the original show he debuted on needed a child character for their program. And the person tasked with creating this character said he was a mix of creatures, including a pig, a human being, a dog, a bear, and many other things. And E.T. was actually a big inspiration for this character. Apart from this character's very odd appearance, what was even more crazy was the urban legend that said the dolls had a knife inside their bodies, supposedly meant for evil rituals, killing children, or it could murder your family. In recent years, the mystery was sort of confirmed when it was revealed that inside the doll was a hard, pointed piece of plastic inside its spinal cord. Number two, Germany Live Bird Automata. An automaton is a self-moving machine that simulates the actions of a living being or creature. These were masterpieces of art and engineering. They could draw, play music, they would entertain crowds, and even entertain royalty. They especially became popular and most intricate in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. These machines moved without the help of any electricity and worked like very intricate clocks and music boxes. There was evidence in Germany of toys that offered the automata experience, with a little secret kept inside. It was a live bird automata, pictured here in this 18th century ad. Each figure had a hollow space inside, which would house a bird, and as the bird struggled to get out of the figure, it allowed the toy to move on its own. The catalog stated, no one would imagine that a living bird was inside, but would suppose that it was clockwork, which made the head, eyes, and beak of the bird move. Let's just hope that when the kids were done playing with it, they remember Remember to take the bird out. And number one, Kaba Kick from Japan. <laughs> 
This toy with poor taste was created by Takara Tomi in 1992 in a country with one of the highest suicide rates in the 90s. It was a contraption that kids would load a round into, place the gun next to their head, pull the trigger, and hope this giant hippo foot doesn't kick him in the temple. Kaba means hippopotamus in Japanese. Thus the hippo figure at the top there giving you a kaba kick in the head. One can't help but look at this thing like a junior game of Russian roulette, making the deadly game look like a fun family activity you'd play after supper. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you even have to load the dang thing with something that looks like a bullet, and it even came with point tokens you earned for surviving each round. Does this boy on the box not look like he is shooting himself in the head? And it even looks like there's like an angel and a devil there going like, do it! Don't do it! Do it! Do it! So there you have it everyone, 15 incredibly weird toys from around the world. I hope you all enjoyed this list and let me know in the comments down below which of these toys spoke to you. You know, did you find any of these interesting or were all these just too weird for you? So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary. Thank <laughs> you.